All oh, right then gang, so far when we've used the find method and some filters, those filters have been looking for an exact match when it comes to the value of that filter. For example, if we used the find method and added a filter for the rating to be seven, for example, then it would find all the books which have a rating of exactly seven. But sometimes you might wanna do something like find all the books where the rating is seven or anything over or maybe anything less than four if you want to show all the NAF books or something and for that we'd have to use a special query operator so operators in MongoDB are denoted by a dollar sign and there's many of them that we can use to begin with let's look at some of the simple ones to perform queries whereby the values of a field is less than or more than something so then imagine I'm gonna get all the books that have a rating greater than seven so to do that, I could say db.books.find and then I want to pass through a filter. Now the filter is going to be based on the rating and whereas before I might say seven to get me every book with an exact rating of seven, I no longer want to do that. I want to specify that the rating should be greater than seven and to do that, we have to add another object right here. And inside that, we want to use now an operator. Now the operator begins with a dollar sign. All operators begin with that. And then the one that we want to use is GT, which stands for greater than. So then we do a colon and give this property a value. And we specify the number that we want the rating to be greater than. So seven, for example, and this will get me all books greater than seven, but not including seven. So if we take a look at this, we can see eight, 10 and nine, but we don't have the seven books. They're not included because we said greater than seven. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but this time it's going to be greater than eight and we should only get back the nine and the 10 now. Awesome. So what about less than? Well, let me just make some room and then we'll change GT to LT, which stands for less than. And we'll set this to be less than eight. So that means basically we're just gonna get the sevens because they're the lowest rated books. All right, cool. So now we can see how to use those less than and greater than operators. And by the way, there are others we could use less than or equal to eight, so LTE, and that gets us sevens and eights right here, so anything less than eight or equal to eight, and the same is true for greater than or equal to, so greater than or equal to GTE eight, and that gets us eight and anything above, all right? Cool. So we can also use multiple different queries or different filters if you like, so I could say db.books, dot find and then we're going to pass through a filter whereby the rating is going to be greater than so dollar sign gt right here and it's going to be greater than seven and i also want another filter where the author is going to be brandon or in fact not brandon sanderson we'll do patrick rothfuss like so all right, so this time we're saying get me all books where the author is Patrick Rothfuss and it has a rating greater than seven. So if I press enter, we can see we just get the one. So it has a rating of 10, which is greater than seven and also an author of Patrick Rothfuss. Awesome. Now there's loads more operators you can use in MongoDB to perform different kinds of queries. And we're gonna see a few of those as we go through the rest of the course. I'm gonna show you one more in this video and that is the OR operator. Now we use the OR operator to find documents whereby a property or a field value is either one value or another value. For example, say we wanna get all the books that have a rating of seven or a rating of nine, or it could be that we want to get all the books that have a rating of 10 or an author of Brandon Sanderson. So we're basically matching different values. And if one of them is true, then we fetch back the book, right? So let's give this a whirl. I'm gonna say db.books.find, and then we want to pass through a filter. Now, when we're using or, we use or first of all, because we're not matching just a specific field here. It could be multiple fields that we want to match one or the other. It could be that we want it to be either a rating of five or an author of Brandon Sanderson. You see what I'm saying? So or is an array. 
and inside the array we have different objects which is basically the different filters if you like so what we're doing is having an array of filters and if one of those filters matches then we fetch the book so the first one could be that the rating is seven so that's the first filter the second one could be that the rating is nine and what this is going to do now is look at the books and it's going to try and match against any of these filters inside the array for this and if any of them match then it will fetch that book okay so let's give this a whirl i'm going to press enter and we can see we get the ones with the rating of seven but also the one with the rating of nine awesome so let me do another example i'm going to say okay get me where there's a rating of seven or where the author is brandon in fact not brandon we'll do terry pratchett like so okay so now it's going to find any book that has a rating of seven or an author of terry pratchett so press enter and we can see this is a seven this is terry pratchett this is a seven all right so they're all the books cool so let me do one more example that kind of mixes up the different um operators that we've seen so far so i'm going to say db dot books dot find and then we're going to use or so dollar sign or first of all it's an array of different filters and the first one is going to be where the page is is less than 200 so we'll say pages and remember we want this to be less than something and when we use less than it has to go inside an object itself so we say dollar sign less than and it's going to be maybe not 200 maybe less than 300 okay so that's the first filter that's the first one we want to look for or where the pages is greater than 400 so we'll say pages again it's an object and we're going to use the operator greater than and this time it's going to be greater than 400. so now we're basically looking for any books where the page number is less than 300 or greater than 400. all right press enter and now we can see this is 250 and this is 500 less than 300 greater than 400. awesome so there we go my friends that is operators to make these more complex queries we've seen or we've seen less than and greater than and also less than or equal to and greater than or equal to so they're just a few of the different operators we can use there's loads more which you can either see on the documentation for mongodb and also we're going to be looking at more in this course as we go forward as well